Welcome to clickmyprojects.com. Uh, well, I'm here to talk about a uh, algorithm and a program and a procedure about a lightweight encryption scheme and a network coded mobile adhesive networks. First of all, what's meant by mobile networks? What's meant by man net? It's nothing but an algorithm which sta it states that um, uh, a mobile is used as a smartphone. How come it's used as a smartphone, uh, including the applications and the as well as the main core thing which is required is the internet. So that the efficient work of a manet is how it has been uh, transferring the files from one place to another or else one mobile to another. For that case, we are using a precise algorithm called as P-coding. P-coding is nothing but a permutation coding. The basic idea of P-coding is to let the source randomly permutates and permutation enables the droppers can locate coding vectors for correct decoding and this cannot obtain a meaningful information. We demonstrate due to lightweight nature p coding increases the main minimal energy and consumptions compared with the encryption statements so that uh, first of all the main thing is uh, we should know the transmission energy the transmission energy is nothing but a cpu energy cpu state and how it has been used how it has been transferred from one mobile to another mobile or is uh, and also we should calculate the energy which can uh, and be saved while the same work done uh, next time so that uh, we are just using a process that the article has been accepted as the public and future issue for the journal also. We attempt to design a new encryption scheme that can fully exploit the security protections which is an advantage for the people and also for the process of data and data exposing and also the process which can also be concluded with the big data also. If in case if you go for a big data, for example, we can take a 10 MB file which is used for transferring data from one mobile to another. It will take around 5 minutes time to uh, send through the Bluetooth or a wire. If in case of a wired network, it can be sent through very much easily. So we present an analysis for the interesting peak security provided by the network coding, which is more accurate than the thing which we all which are using now. So that now we can go for the coding coding part. Uh, this is the flow diagram for the uh, lightweight encryption. First of all, we need to start the project and also the connection. Uh, connection will be established between mobile A and mobile B through using networks or IP connections. Uh, I'll be using the IP and port ID for this one. And after that, encryption uh, for, uh, either mobile A or mobile B or whatever the mobile which, uh, which sends the project or process will tell uh, will encrypt the process and, uh, and it will send it to the calculate and it will go for the calculating transmission energy after calculating transmission energy the uh, energy saved will be calculated the, uh, the saved energy uh, calculated energy will be sent to mobile A or mobile B either what uh, alternatively, in case of, uh, for example, uh, the process or the data or the information which we send through the mobile A to mobile B should be encrypted and it should be secured and it should be logged on only by the unauthorized user so that the calculated energy will be saved and send it to the mobile B and after that the process will get stopped unless the process uh, is given for this one because the calculating transmission energy takes an another algorithm for working out and also the encryption of data will also takes place in the working process controller lightweight encryption scheme going for the packages and the mobile networks we are using mobile A and mobile B for an example for that it can also be a multipleized mobile so now now just run the project in first case run both the projects so that we can just exchange the files and folders now both the project has been started to run okay this is mobile 1 and this is mobile 2 now we are going to establish a connection through port id just give port id for connection and over here is the local host IP because we are using the same system for the local host IP and now give the similar number which we gave on the mobile A so it should be similar so that now connect it the connection will be established with both the mobiles now choose a file which has to be sent from that you can choose any file 
which can be a picture, it can be a text file, it can be an SMS index text file. Open it and take this text file from it. This is the text file which you have in here. Now send it for the encryption. Now receive the file. This is the content of the file and then encrypt it. The key will also be generated for the encryption process. It, that's called as a secure key. This is the encrypted text. And after that, this is the main part, and this is where the B coding has been established. Calculator transmission energy. Okay, the transmission energy has been calculated. This is the CPU usage. This is the CPU time which has been used, and this is the process of percentage. How much it has been used? Uh, Forty-four percentage. And in this case, we need to detect the CPU usage in the B side because the transformation only have to be done in the B side. Now receive it from A. Receive the file. The file has been received and the transmission energy also has to be received and the energy which can be saved is 43.65 for example this is just a small file and it's just a text file so that the energy will be very low and also the process processing time also will be very low so the CPU utilization process can be very little and it can also be saved a very little if in case you go for a 10 MB or 12 MB file means the CPU utilization will be high and also the utilization energy save can be low now go for the now send the file to the send uh, encryption from the so send it to the decryption file and the decryption file will be given here and get the file from that. This is the file which we got it from uh, uh, the encryption process and now decrypted. This is how the process will get decrypted uh, and save it to the database and then after that just go for the logout. Then the process will be logged out. Then both the process can get logged out and once it has to be connected. Thank you. Decryption process. They're going to do the same in from mobile B to mobile E. Now run the process first. Run the mobile B. Run the file. After that, run the mobile A. Now the both the process has been started to run with it. Okay. Now connecting with the A. We should give the same uh, same IP address for this one also. And also the port number. The yeah, port number can be of any number. Doesn't matter. 1, 2, 3, connected. The connection will be established as yes, similar before that. Okay. Now, go for the B side, mobile 2. Choose what to send. Select a text file or any other file. Send it to encryption. Receive the file. The same file. Now, encrypt it. The encryption also will be done with the same character and the key also will be generated as set before in this one. Or the transmission power calculate with the transmission power the transmission power will be calculated and send it to A now receive it from B receive it ok in this case the if in case we took a small case file it, it will take some time so that energy used while transmission by A.